2019 is such a special year. Next year we'll be 50 years old, and this year we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of man landing on the moon. We have been the number one attraction in the state for the past seven years, and I think we're going to have a million visitors this year for the first time in our history. You know, Iberia Bank, we take great pride in giving back to the communities where we live, work, and play. And we could not be more proud of our partnership with the Space and Rocket Center. It's a way that we support the fabric of our community's history that's made us who we are today. And it supports the educational component of our young leaders to give them the vision of where they can go and how they can continue to be a leader in the space industry and advance space exploration. Dr. Barnhart came to Huntsville to take over U.S. Space and Rocket Center. Financially was in a different place. And over the course of time, she and I built uh, a relationship. There was an opportunity for Iberia Bank to help the center. And we did so in 2014. She's done a phenomenal job, obviously, of steering the center since that time. It's been a tremendous partnership to see what Dr. Barnhart has actually done with the center and actually uh, put it in an area of prominence like it once was, it's fascinating to see. We have the great honor to serve as the financial institution for the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, and it's a partnership that's very near and dear to us, not only for the impact that it has on the city of Huntsville and our nation, but the impact that it has statewide as the largest tourist attraction in our state. That's very exciting and again speaks to really the strategic partnership that we have with the organization. As the center has continued to grow, Iberia Bank itself has grown tremendously. If you look at what the Space and Rocket Center is now compared to where it was four or five years ago, on any given day, you have over a thousand students at Space Camp. You have a number of people who visit the center for the museum. In addition, there's a brand new planetarium and it's absolutely fascinating and amazing. There's a pioneering spirit in all of us. Now, whether it's the arts or business or whatever you're interested in, we happen to be interested in moving mankind forward into space. I mean, we're honoring, you know, 50 years ago that we put humankind on the moon. And that's something that I think no matter who you are, you can get excited about. I think the golden anniversary of the Apollo landing on the moon means something different to everyone. For myself, growing up as a child in Huntsville, I remember when they were testing the big F1 engines on the Saturn V. Every afternoon, those engines would roar out at the Marshall Space Flight Center, and you could feel it in your heart and in your chest. That never leaves you. That enthusiasm, that excitement, the power of being able to leave the planet, it's historic. And I think it means something different for each person in each city. Certainly in Huntsville and in Alabama, it was Alabama that put man on the moon and we should be very proud of that.